Wanna know how to create exported view animations in Blender? Okay, so press Shift plus A, add empty. Duplicate it. Then select this object. Come to Constraints tab. Add a copy location constraint. And select this empty from here. Check offset and uncheck these X and Y. We only want Z and apply the location of your empty. Then select this object, reduce the influence. Then select all other objects of your camera or any other object that you have. Okay, so after selecting them, select this object again and then come here and copy to select it. Now when you move this empty, you can see the objects are also moving. So now to make a difference, to make some space, select any object, come to influence. Adjust the influence value to add space between the objects, making them look like separate individual pieces. This object needs to be down, so set the influence to 0.1 or 0.2 and increase the influence for other objects. Need the place time, not that much far. If you want an object to go on Y axis as well and on X axis as well. So come here to this axis and click on any axis that you want to move on. Just like I want this one to move on Y axis. So now when I move this on Y axis you can see it's also moving with it. So I'm doing with these objects as well when I press G and then Z you can see they are going up but when I press G and Y some of the object that I selected from here Y axis so they will go on Y axis as well otherwise all the objects will be go on Z axis okay every time you want to Place them in their original position. Just select your MP, press Ctrl plus A and select all transforms. Just like this. They will be in their original positions. Then if you press G and Z, they will go up and press G and Y. Some of the objects will go on Y axis. And we want this bottom part to go on opposite direction. So select your empty, apply all transforms and select this bottom part of your camera and add a copy location constraint and select your constraint from here. Then if you move it up, you can see this object is also going up. We don't want we want it to go on opposite side. 
So select this object and here you will see invert. So click on invert the Z location. So now if you move them, you can see it's going opposite it's going on opposite direction. So check offset and reduce the influence just like this. Now come to this lens area, select your lens and again add a copy location constraint and select. Now we want to select this one, this empty, not this one, not this one. So select this empty and first of all, you change the display to cube or anything you like. I am using cube, display as cube. So apply all transforms. Then select your lens, come to constraints tab and copy, copy location constraint and select that empty from here and check offset and uncheck X and Y. Uncheck Z and only use Y because we want this to go on y axis not on z axis then move the empty on y axis select select the lens then select all the other objects i selected these objects after selecting them select your lens and then come here and select copy to select it Now simple, just like before, play with the influence. I'll move them up forward, up forward a bit. This one comes here. This one here. Mm, this one here. Wait, 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 wait. Let me then forward and as you can see when you press press control plus A and select all transforms to Place them in their original positions. Now press G and then Y to make the animation. As you can see, this is our animation. So this will control our lens and this will control this part of our mesh. As you can see, So all draw forms. So now select them empty. Come to your timeline. Select them empty. Press I on your keyboard to add a keyframe. Then go forward on your timeline. Go on maybe something like 60 frames. Then press G and Y. And just like this. Then press I again to add a keyframe. Now when you see the animation. It looks bad. So select these keyframes. Go into press Ctrl plus Tab to go into Graph Editor. Press A to select everything. Then press N on your keyboard to get rid of this panel. Then come here and select individual or individual centers and press S on your keyboard to scale it. Now when you play the animation, you can see it's coming slow and then fast. Now we want to do this same technique with this one as well with this empty. 
So, select this empty, press I on your keyboard to add a keyframe. Then go on 60 frames, press G, Z and move it up. Then press G and Y to move them, to move those object as well. And press I again. Select all the keyframes. Go into graph editor. And make sure individual centers is selected instead of instead of bounding box center. Then scale it and make a curve something like this. Now when you play the animation, you can see just like this. Okay, so this is how you can make the exploded view animation. If you like it, make sure to subscribe and like the video. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.